It is time to review Boku no Hero Academia, aka Boku no Go, aka Boku no Greatness, aka My Hero Academia. This is a really, really late review. The chapter came out early on Wednesday. And I'm going to tell you a little insight on why I don't review chapters or anything, a lot of stuff anymore is because I don't have a lot of time this year specifically because I have a job now and I got to college and I barely even have time to do my homework at all also and study for tests and stuff like that and I'd rather take that extra time um, to focus on my um, college work and stuff and I got to say that this lighting is amazing. So, this chapter, um, I got the chapter right here. What chapter was this? 107. Um, it was a really good chapter. For one, um, what's his Kaminari. Kaminari. His character was expanded upon because he, f he can't control his light lightning quirk that much. But now, he has a device made by those engineer um, department that basically lets him um, shock a little device thing and it could bounce off and hit one target or multiple targets it said uh, and he could set it to one target or multiple targets and that looked really cool and stuff when he was like I was not aiming for you Seiji because that's the um, Shiketsu's um, the kid from Shiketsu's name and I gotta say that I'm really enjoying that the mangaka of My Hero Academia is not doing some conventional th stuff with the with the quirks, which is fire eyes. Yeah, yes, there's stuff like that, but then he's unique because I'm like a meat a meat quirk. What is that? And as I was thinking about it, basically Seiji he probably could regenerate his arms, his limbs, or anything if he gets them cut off. Because he's, he has a meat quirk, so he probably could um, make an arm, a new arm and stuff, which is just crazy. And basically his quirk is compressed meat. Meaning that if that thing hits you, you're compressed meat. And that's what we saw from that. After Seiji gets weakened, Bakugo and Kirishima just <laughs> double team Seiji and that's done. I gotta say... I like seeing these characters together. I like seeing them in specific teams. I don't like what Midoriya said before where he's like, we all should stick together. No, no, no. They all should be in groups of their own. That makes it more better and exciting because imagine all of them together and just um, have a defensive layer then an attacking layer. That'd be way, way too easy for this part of the exam. Like, some are attacking, some are defending, then those are defending could... Um, basically goes to the attacking portion and just pass like that that's really cheap and crappy and also right now all the ua students are still in the game they have not passed they're all still there and that's really interesting and if they all pass this part of the exam i don't think they're all of them is going to pass the whole exam because that would be ridiculous because this is supposed to be one of the hardest things to pass the provisional hero license to get that. It means that you're a part-time hero, like you're recognized as a hero. And I, as much as I like the UA students, as much I, I respect their training, all of this, I just, in my mind, don't want them all to pass because it wouldn't make any type of sense. I know the manga may find this easier to do because then they're like, Oh, then if there's villains, like you could just send any other students. But no, I want specific students that are a cut above the rest to pass. Um, and I want Mineta to pass just for comedic purposes because he's actually one of my favorite characters. He's a really funny character. Um, what else I want to talk about in this chapter? Midori and them, they're still fending off against people, just touching them with the ball and stuff because I believe... Um, one of them had the tape and neutralized them and stuff. They couldn't move anything. And some guy was like, oh, no, please don't hit me. I, I really got to pass. Midori is like, Midori is basically like, F you. I got to pass too. Boom. I was like, it's crazy. On the next part of the, um, the next section is basically going to be against elderly people and people of all ages. So they could have been heroes in the past the elderly and the younger ones i don't know 
Um, this arc so far for me has been okay, and I'm just waiting for the one on one, one on one fights, which I'm predicting is gonna happen in this arc, um, between Inasa or and Todoroki and stuff like that. That'd be really cool. Imagine this: Midoriya versus Bakugo one on one. And whoever wins gets their provisional hero license. That would be really great. Overall, I'm going to give this chapter an 8 out of 10. It was a really decent chapter. And in the comment section below, tell me that you like the chapter, that you not like the chapter. And are you fine with me reviewing My Hero Academia like two days late? Because I just don't have the time.